Hey guys, Ryan Groth here. Welcome to this next video blog where I'm going to talk about how as an, an owner of a contracting company, how to go about hiring your first salesperson. Now, you may be thinking, I've already tried to hire multiple salespeople and failed. Uh, this, well, this should be very helpful for you. Or you're looking to grow your business and you're looking to hire your first salesperson. So I just wanted to tell you, great job. If you're taking this step, this is very, very important in terms of setting you free from the day-to-day -day grind of the business and actually growing a company instead of having a really high paying job. Okay, so what we wanna do is, uh, first step we wanna take is actually learn sales for sales. Now you're thinking, man, as a contractor, I'm so busy. Uh, you know, I can I close 90% of my leads. Of course you do, you're the owner. And of course, uh, the, the referrals are coming right to you and you're probably not following up a ton with all the old leads. You're just quoting once and maybe following up once. You're, you're doing a, a great job making sales happen just by showing up because you're the owner and reacting. But when you're trying to grow a sales team and having a salesperson, all they're gonna be doing is the sales. They're not doing, they're not running the entire business like you and worrying about financials and worrying about marketing and worrying about production and worrying about all these other things, uh, ordering material, things like that. So now they're gonna be focusing on selling that this is just a different skill and then they're not gonna be the owner. So they're not gonna be as passionate about the business quite as passionate as you. They're not gonna know as much about it quite as much as you. So there's a skill gap that they're naturally going to have that you're not having to fill, which is a sales skill gap. And so what needs to happen first and foremost is you need to be competent in selling yourself beyond just being the owner. So what does that mean? Well, that means learning sales, being trained in sales for yourself so that you can get one, two, three sales cycles in with an actual sales process, with a sales mindset that's different from what you've been doing yourself, which is I'm just working really hard, I care, I know a lot about what I'm doing and my customers wanna work with me. And that's probably what's gotten you this far, which is great. But that's not gonna take you to where you wanna be, which is having an enterprise or an organization that runs without you on a day-to-day -day level. Instead, you're casting vision, building processes, growing a culture, and it's a lot of fun. So the sales team is the vehicle that will unlock that, but if you hire the wrong salesperson at first, you're not gonna be able to confidently release the sales process and the sales cycle in your business to somebody, and you're gonna go back to wearing all the hats and you're gonna be stuck again. So my point is, it's really important to go about hiring the salesperson the right way the first time. So the first step you wanna take, as I mentioned already, is learn selling the fundamental way of sales for yourself without relying on what you've done, which is just product knowledge and a good old heartbeat, okay? What we wanna do is have uh, something that's beyond that skill gap of sales that you're starting to include. Now you're gonna be like, man, I'm making a ton of money. You may not even wanna hire a salesperson once you get sales trained because you're like, man, I'm crushing it, this is fine. But my, let me tell you, once you see it, one, two, three sales cycles through, your confidence is up. Know that this confidence is going to translate really well into the next salesperson you hire. So after you get competent yourself in selling, the next thing you wanna do is just really know your core values so that you can get connection. I'm noticing I'm a lot of, using a lot of C words here. So I first one was sales competent. Now I wanna have core values, connection. When you hire your first salesperson, if you don't have core values and connection, uh, on the conversation as a part of how you're united, you're gonna have more of a transactional dynamic with your, with, your, with your sales guy. And I would rather you, instead of think, oh, this guy is a, a sales guy working for me, think I'm building almost like, this is like a business partner. This is like uh, marrying somebody. This is like um, having your firstborn child. Like this is somebody that's gonna represent your company and the DNA at such a degree of hopefully of replicating what you want, what you desire. So, and this ends up being the cornerstone of your entire sales force because this, this salesperson is the case study, you know, the C, cornerstone case study of, you know, the future salespeople and what their, their dreams can, or what the opportunity looks like and the trajectory and the career in sales looks like with, when they're looking at the salesperson, right? So all this is really important. And so you want to make sure that your core values are really identified and they're connected to that. Now, how do you know that? Well, you ask them, right? How do you know that? You should Typically, your first sales hire on, on a really organic level is going to be somebody you already know that you really trust. Uh, hopefully, it's not the brother who uh, or sister who's not that motivated. Hopefully, it's somebody who's really fired up that you want to partner with. But maybe they're not your business partner, they're, but they're a partner uh, in spirit because they're building something with you. And you want to make sure that that core value connection is there. Now that you're sales competent, what we got to do is make sure they're sales competent. You have a much better chance of knowing if they're sales competent, if you've learned how to be sales competent yourself. 
If you're the technical owner who's ops minded and production minded and you're looking for a sales guy, you're going to be like, I don't know that. And your brain's going to limit yourself from being able to apprehend like and, and dis delineate like their skills because you're going to say, oh, whatever they do is, is better than me because I'm not a sales guy. Right. So then you just assume that they're going to be better than you. But you know what? Most salespeople really suck at sales and they, they're not very good at selling and they don't sell the right way at the high level that you're hoping for. They end up, you know, they, they could sell you a lot of stuff, but they're not really real. So what we want to do is have your own transformation occur so that you can have a, the ability to identify the competencies of future sales reps. OK, now, how do you do that? Uh, well, you can use objective tools. And when we work with us, we provide those for you. You can't just buy them off the shelf. We have specific tools that we can use to help a, a candidate, help you understand if the candidate has the ability to actually come in and sell, not just be the owner, care a lot and get results, but you know, show up and ask really good questions and sell value and get to the decision makers, um, ask questions in a consultative manner, qualify effectively. And so, especially when you're breaking into commercial, if you already are in commercial, I'm talking to a lot of different types of contractors on this video blog, the higher level in the market you are with your sale and your clientele that you're focusing on, the higher level skill required. And so typically a company who's hiring will say, the owner will say, I'm going to pioneer and get bigger, better, bigger, better clients. And all the ones we've already shown as a bread and butter end up being what the sales force is able to, to sell. So it makes it a lot easier and gives somebody confidence to do it. So anyhow, all that to say, um, you have those C's so far. And then lastly is commitment. Now I would tell you if you're hiring a salesperson, I would look to hire a salesperson that will end up being a VP of sales or COO or a director, because it's much easier to have somebody committed for all the reasons you're committed unto the same direction that you're committed for, towards that's representing your sales force, because you end up kind of creating and recruiting, attracting the same types of people like a tribe. And so uh, really, it's really important to understand what, what is their commitment level? What are they committed toward? What are they committed about? What, what's success look like for them? Because if you can unify on core values, competency, um, you can, you can rely, uh, unify around commitment level, you can rely, uh, unify around all those things, you're gonna have somebody that is rock solid and they may not end up being the best salesperson in the world forever, but at least you know you can build around them and hire more salespeople around that person because they're building on the, the types of material that you wanna build on. So I know we build construction a lot, but now we're building in a, a culture, we're building a team. It's a different type of uh, building, right? So you can't, it's not as tangible, but uh, this is really, really important. So I'm hopeful that this is useful for you as you're looking at hiring your first salesperson as I kind of recapped everything there. There's a lot of C's I threw out there. So you'll see some of those C's here on the screen that popped up. Uh, those are some that you should jot down and I want to make sure that you apply those. And of course, if you want some actual help to really give you a framework and accelerate this process, get the sales training that you need as an owner to really grow yourself so you can attract somebody who can respect your competency and want to grow with you and kind of invest into them, getting a ramping playbook, the evaluations, uh, the sales team, the sales process building, things like that. You can book a call with us and we have a strategy session form. You can just complete the questionnaire, fill out the form, meet with one of our growth consultants and we'll discuss exactly how we can help you. So again, thanks for watching this video blog and I hope you apply this and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching this latest piece of content. If you like what you saw, you can like, subscribe, comment, follow, all that good stuff and you'll see the next video blog and hopefully you continue to get value. If you are trying to grow your business, you're really serious about it right now and you're really committed, what I'd like for you to do is complete the form and book a one hour growth strategy session with us. We know this, we know that your growth and your next level is just one call away. And we have some steps that you can take to really unlock where you are right now and take your business to the next level through sales development and building a true high class, high performing world-class sales organization. And we know that is your vehicle to getting to the next level. So if that's not something you've done yet, go ahead and do it now. If not, stay tuned. See you on the next video.